the forex sentiment is the tool that i use to know when my trades will go into profit so in this video i'll be breaking down how i use the forex sentiment to actually know when my trades will start going into profit or if i should be a bit more patient because they might probably go against me in the short term so this tool is found in my fx book right and i'll break this tool down and also show you how i use this very same tool to actually catch this move or to stay in my move actually not to catch it but to actually stay in my trade in this uh, aud nzd trade as well as in this gbp usd trade as well right so to find this tool you need to go on to my fx book and then you need to go into forex sentiment and then once you've entered forex sentiment then you just select your the trade or the, the trade that you are currently in or the trade that you have looking to execute right so uh, so let's close this because i have an ad block so once you've selected uh in this example i'm using aud nzd so we're gonna click on AUD, aud nzd and then it'll give us a breakdown of the forex sentiment right so then in this case you can then see what is currently happening in terms of who's long and who's short now the reason why i use this tool it is because of my understanding that a majority of traders lose money right majority of retail traders lose money so if that is the case then it means that if i am looking to sell for example aud nzd and i see that there are more sellers so the percentage here it is high in terms of sellers then in that case i can i can understand that okay chances are the trade will not go into profit yet right because like i said if majority is, is is always wrong then majority and majority is selling then chances are price will continue pushing higher right and the opposite applies but let us put this into perspective by me actually giving you proper examples of what i'm talking about right so this is the aud nzd trade as you can see this is how it has played out so far so over 129 pips of course my stop loss was 30 pips as always so how i entered this trade i'll just show you screenshots of the actual move right so this was the first screenshot this was around 31st of october so we had our sh the, 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 the number of short uh, traders in terms of AUD and ZD Forex sentiment, 96% were short and four were long. So what does that mean? That means that a lot of traders were selling AUD and ZD at that point. So when I entered, this is when I had already entered my trade. So when I entered, I understood that the trade will not go into profit immediately, right? So that is the first thing. So it gave me the ability to be a bit more patient right so i wasn't panicking when the trade wasn't moving into my direction and then ended up taking profits early or cutting my trade at a loss i became patient because i'm monitoring the forex sentiment as long as this has not changed then i understand that the trade will not will not move right so and then in addition to that that is when i had entered my trade and i posted the screenshot as well on, on my instagram that i'm waiting on a pullback to my entries before a decent move why because at this point there were still more sellers so i knew that price will probably pull back or go up at some point and then after that it was this it was uh this this one here the screenshot here and then i said slowly getting more retail longs on aud nzd so more more traders were buying aud nzd or we're adding more long positions and that i knew that if more if long positions started being greater than short positions then we'll start seeing aud nzd go lower right because like i said majority loses so if majority start buying then prices will go lower so not expecting much of a move lower yet and it kept me patient so it kept me in my trade I'm, i was comfortable holding right because i'm just monitoring the forex sentiment and that is how you can also use this to your advantage guys because you'll be able to stay in your trade you'll be able to be patient in your trade and then eventually as price started moving and when this point when price started moving in my direction 
we already seen a shift where from 90 over 90 percent people or, or traders were actually short now we only had 43 percent traders short and 57 percent traders long so that means that now majority was in the, in the on the buy side of AUD and ZD so price would start falling right then finally as I said here in the screenshot finally we have more retail traders buying AUD and ZD downside should start gaining more traction right and then eventually what we now have today which is where we are right here right as price eventually fell lower right and if I then go back to this forex sentiment here we can see that today we have 81% of traders that are buying who AUD and ZD. So that means that now prices will continue to fall lower. As long as we have more, more buyers of AUD and ZD, then I expect lower prices when it comes to AUD and ZD. So that is how I use this tool to my advantage, guys. That is how I'm able to stay in my trades, to hold my trades in the, in the early stages, especially of my trade when I've entered. This is what keeps me grounded, keeps me patient. So I do not panic. I'm not anxious. Uh, I just remain calm and my emotions are maintained at all points, right? So this is a tool that you can also use that can also really, really benefit you because it, 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 it works. It worked wonders for me when I started implementing it. And ever since I started implementing it, I'm able to comfortably hold my trade, right? So this is, this was, this is an example of AUD and ZD, right? Like I showed you, and this is where we are today. And then the next one is GBP USD. Uh, but for GBP USD, unfortunately, I, I did not have the, the whole screenshots of when the actual move started in terms of the Forex sentiment screenshots. But this is how I also entered. And as you can see, 30 pips stop loss, of course, and then over 890 pips. At some point, we're 1,000 pips in, in profit. But same, same, same situation. We go, we go back here. We go back into Forex sentiment. We look for the pair that we are executing. In this case, the example is GBP USD. So I need to go into GBP USD. And then um, when I get to GBP USD, the same thing. If I'm in my trade, will price continue going lower, right? Because I'm selling. How will I know? I need to see who, 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 where, which side is the majority taking, right? Are they taking more of the buy side or are they taking more of the sell side, right? So as you can see here with GBP USD, we currently have 76% that are that are long. So the majority is long on GBP USD. So that means that I am comfortable still holding my my trade low. Of course, this is not the only thing that I use. Of course, I have my fundamental bias behind it, but this keeps me in my trade. This gives me the understanding that, okay, now we, we are in a pullback. Because even when the market is pulling back and I see the shift in, 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 in positioning, then I understand that 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 pullback, right? So if, if we go to this one here, because I'll just, I'll just use this for explainer purposes. This is on the daily. Let us try and extend because I entered my trade around July. Yeah, it was around this point here. As you can see, before that, we started having a buildup of short positions, right? So a majority, majority of what? Majority of traders were short on GBP USD as well. So in the, in the early stages when I had entered my trade, I was comfortable holding and not really in a rush for the trade to move into profits because we had what? We had more short positions than long positions. So, so I knew that price will continue staying at elevated levels. It's not going to go down yet. Then eventually we saw that declining. And then eventually we saw that declining. As you can see at this point, we started having more long positions than short positions. And ever since we've essentially had more long and short positions, right? More long positions than short positions. So now the majority was starting to buy GBP USD, and that is when we started having more traction to the downside, right? So implement this tool, guys, in your trading. It's really gonna transform your trading and how 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 to better be a patient trader, right? So it's a very important tool, right? And then a second thing to this, just as a caveat, it's also using interest rates, understanding interest rates, right? Because if I'm holding this trade and I know that it's not gonna go in my direction yet, then that is why 
I use my spreadsheet to know the interest rates of the different currencies or different economies. So like for example, GBP is 5.25, USD it is 5.5, right? Not much of a difference, so there isn't much of a positive swap there. But for something like AUD, NZD, where we have 4.35 on AUD, 5.5 on NZD, there is a bit of a, a, a better spread there. So then I know that as if I'm holding my trade and it's not yet going in my direction, then I am comfortable holding because the trade will eventually start what moving in my direction when we see that shift in the forex sentiment but at the same time i am still earning a positive swap right so i'm just being paid to hold so now i'm getting that positive boost in my confidence in two ways i'm trusting the forex sentiment firstly so i'm more patient i'm not panicking I'm, try, I'm, I'm, gain, I'm gaining a positive interest or a positive swap every single day for holding my trade because I, I'm, I'm, I'm on the right side of interest rates. So in that sense, I am comfortable holding my trade until the tide moves in my favor. But it, and even if it doesn't move in my favor, then I, and I'm comfortable or I understand in a sense why the trade did not work out, right? So guys, that is very important. Uh, this is just my, my, my spreadsheet that I use on Excel, but I just wanted to show you guys the power behind this Forex sentiment tool, right? So use it and implement it in your trading. And I'm, I guarantee you guys, it will transform how you approach your trading, right? So every single time you enter a position, look, look, look at the Forex sentiment so that you can know whether it is it now going to go into profit or it's still going to linger around my entry for some time, right? So enjoy that guys. And like I said, use it. And if you have any questions, uh, you can leave them down in the comments and don't forget guys to like subscribe and do all the YouTube stuff. Uh, see you on the next video.